Mega goal, five. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, dear student? I hope you will be fine. Our lesson for today, unit three. What will they think of next? Number eight, reading, page number 40 and 41. In this lesson, you are going to Hadaf al Dars. One, listen to the audio, then read the text. Istima ila al Nas, thumma qiraat al Nas. Two, discuss the questions. Munaqashat al Asila. Three, answer some questions. Al Ijaba ala baad al Asila. Okay, dear students, open your book, page number 40 and 41. This is the page of our lesson for today. Some new words. بعض الكلمات الجديدة التي درسناها في الدرس السابق ولكن سنر ال سنأخذها الآن للمراجعة. Chain سلسلة. Common place مكان مألوف. استيماتد يقدر لوكراتيف مربح اوربت يدور سيموليت يقلد ريجرس صارم او شديد ستيب انحدار now we will discuss some questions to explain this reading لسن. الآن سنناقش بعض الأسئلة لفهم هذا الدرس أو لاستيعاب هذا الدرس. What is space tourism? ماذا نعني بالسياحة للفضاء؟ When ordinary people visit space for vacation عندما يزور الأشخاص أو الناس العاديين الفضاء للسياحة يعني الأشخاص العاديين any ordinary people or normal people not Another people like scientists, they will go to the space for study or for explore something. Okay. يعني مقصود به الناس العاديين أو الأشخاص العاديين ليس المقصود رواد الفضاء أو العلماء للدراسة أو لاستكشاف أمر ما في الفضاء. Next, what does out of this world mean? عنوان ال reading أو عنوان القراءة. An out of this world vacation. What it means? ماذا تعني? It means literally outside of our world, in outer space. What تعني? خارج هذا العالم أو خارج القرى الأرضية. Two. It means extraordinary, exciting, and great. What تعني? الاستمتاع والإثارة بشكل آخر. What do you think you will learn from this article? برأيك ماذا ستتعلم من هذا العنوان أو من هذا الموضوع? I think I will learn who has taken a vacation in space. برأيي سأتعلم من ذهب إلى الفضاء لغرض السياحة والاستمتاع. Does space tourism exist now? هل تعتبر هذا النوع أو هذا النوع من السياحة موجود الآن؟ Yes, but only for a few very wealthy people. نعم، ولكن لعدد محدود من أثرياء العالم. Does the author think that space tourism will become common in the future? هل يعتقد الكاتب أو هل يعتقد الكاتب؟ أن هذا النوع من السياحة سوف يصبح مستقبلا نوع من أنواع السياحة المشهورة أو الرائجة بين الناس Yes Now we will listen to the text audio Would you please pay attention for listening this audio An out of this world vacation Things that once seemed impossible often become commonplace with the passing of time there are people predicting that this will happen with space tourism in the next decade or two. Some are even investing in 
and developing space tourism technology, believing that space tourism will be the next big thing. They imagine a future in which space travel will have become a reality for millions of ordinary people. At the moment, space tourism is only a possibility for the incredibly wealthy. In 2001, American multimillionaire Dennis Tito paid $20 million to become the first space tourist. After eight months of rigorous training, Tito traveled aboard a Russian capsule that was launched by an American company called Space Adventures. He then spent seven days aboard the International Space Station. Since then, a number of other millionaire space tourists of different nationalities have gone into space. Although up to now only very wealthy people have had the opportunity to be space tourists, many see this as the beginning of what will eventually become a lucrative new industry. There are several companies that have already invested millions of dollars in developing new, reusable launch vehicles. Their goal is to lower launch costs enough to make it possible for the average person to buy a ticket to space. The Japanese Rocket Society, for example, has set a target price of 1 million yen, about $10,000. Virgin Galactic, a British company owned by Richard Branson's Virgin Group, has been working on plans for sending people into space for years. The company is about to begin testing of their eight-seat spacecraft and expects that they will have worked out any problems by 2022. When the spacecraft is shown to be safe, Virgin Galactic will begin their flights. Although tickets are a steep £100,000, $123,000, amazingly, the first year of flights has already been booked. One of these future passengers is Lisa Ramirez, a mother of three. When asked why she was prepared to spend so much money on a galactic flight, Ramirez explained, I'm 58 years old, and by the time this happens, I will have been dreaming of going to space for at least 45 years. There are even companies working on plans to build hotels for space tourists. The Shimizu Corporation, a giant Japanese construction company, has detailed plans for a hotel they expect to complete by 2023. They believe that by then they will have created a 63-room hotel which will orbit 279 miles 450 kilometers, above the surface of Earth. The hotel will slowly spin in order to produce enough force to simulate Earth's gravity. It is estimated that such a space hotel would cost $6 to $12 billion and would take about six years to build. Since water was discovered on the moon in 1998, the multinational hotel chain, Hilton Hotels, has been working on plans for a hotel on the moon. The plans call for a 5,000-room complex with a beach, a working farm, a medical center, and even a school. Two huge solar panels will generate the power. Hilton is working on this project with experts at NASA. You may wonder what space tourists will do while in space. To begin with, most will probably want to spend some time simply enjoying the incredible sight of Earth from space. After that, no doubt they will spend some time gazing at the amazingly bright stars and will take a spacewalk or two. When space tourists have had their fill of observing, they are likely to spend hours amusing themselves floating and doing acrobatics in the zero gravity of space. This zero gravity could provide endless recreational opportunities, including swimming in a zero gravity swimming pool in which people move through a floating mass of water. With so much research, energy, and money being poured into space tourism, it is clear that it is a matter of when, rather than if, space tourism will become a reality. Okay, dear student, after reading, answer true or false. Rewrite the false statement to make them true now we will see the answer would you please write down your book the answer (laughs) 
9 speaking تكلم او تحدث working groups bears think about space tourism in the future do you think it will happen why why not في مجموعة انت وزملائك فكر في هذا النوع من السياحة السياحة الى الفضاء في المستقبل باعتقادك هل سيكون هذا الامر او هل سيحدث هذا الامر اذا كانت اجابتك بنعم لماذا واذا كانت اجابتك بلا لماذا Two. What do you think some of the advantages and disadvantages will be? باعتقادك ما هي السلبيات والإيجابيات لهذا الأمر سوف تكون. Three. Think about transportation, accommodation, cost, and advertising. فكر في وسائل النقل والسكن والضيافة وتكلفة هذا. Four. Make notes in the chart and use them to help to you to present your opinion and discuss in class. قم بكتابة أو ب قم بكتابة هذا الجدول كما هو موضح في الأعلى وناقش المعلومات التي كتبتها في هذا الجدول أنت وزملائك في الفصل. Okay. This activity you do it by yourself with your partner or with your classmates. ستقوم بأداء هذا النشاط أنت وزملائك بأنفسكم في الفصل. Okay, dear student, this section which relates for our lesson today at workbook. Would you please first answer these questions, then go to the next slide to check the correct answer. هذا القسم الخاص في كتاب النشاط بدرس اليوم في البداية قم بالإجابة على هذه الأسئلة بنفسك ثم اذهب إلى الشريحة التالية لتصحيح الإجابات هذا والله أعلم وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله أفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم لا تنسى الاشتراك في القناة والضغط على زر الجرس ونشر المقطع لزملائك لتعم الفائدة